I work with my clients to create what I call six gear cultures. And a six gear culture is when your talent is acting as owners. And I'd like you to think about uh, gears in a car, for example. Well, we start with the first gear, it's a large gear, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and the gears get smaller as, as we get higher. When you are at the sixth gear, you're at high speed. Things are running along smoothly, nicely. When you're at the lower gears, you kind of grind along. It takes a little bit of time to get some momentum. So in the first gear, what we're looking at is the ability to identify ta talent. When you get to the second gear, you're at the stage of acquiring talent and, and retaining talent. You get to third gear, you're nurturing talent. They're starting to stay for a while. Then you want to move to fourth gear. Fourth gear is where talent becomes self-sufficient. And then when we move to fifth gear, where talent is innovating, they're doing exciting things. And finally, we get to sixth gear, where they're acting as owners, where they are making prudent choices on behalf of an organization's uh, assets, and they're maximizing results. Sixth gear cultures is where competitive advantage lies.